Deep in the heart of rural America, farmers are talking about a crisis. At the root of the problem, honeybees, or a lack of them. They just flew off and didn't come back. Beekeeper David Hackenberg owns the Buffy Bee Honey Farm outside Tampa, Florida. He says he has lost as many as two-thirds of his beehives within a matter of weeks. It seems to be something brand new. I mean, you know, it's... Uh... We've seen colonies disappear in the past, but the strange thing about this is the fact that we got empty boxes look just like somebody swept the bees out of them. That just don't happen. The bees are vanishing due to something called colony collapse disorder. Hackenberg's business, based in Florida and Pennsylvania, relies on making honey and renting bees to farmers to pollinate their crops. We're looking at about a $350,000 loss, you know, if he, what it's going to cost to replace the bees, lost pollination contracts, lost honey crops. And, you know, you're talking, you're talking a big, serious financial loss. The exact cause of colony collapse disorder is a mystery, but scientists at Pennsylvania State University are leading research into the phenomenon. The university's colony collapse disorder working group says poor nutrition, drought, and pesticide use can cause extraordinary stress on bees. That stress, the group believes, may damage the bees' immune systems much like AIDS in humans. Meanwhile, scientists with the U.S. Agriculture Department point to bugs called Varroa mites. They kill bees by transmitting viruses. Jerry Turner runs a honey farm near Orlando, Florida. He says the mites have become resistant to the insecticides used to kill them. You try to build your bees up to make honey, and, and you put a lot of money and time and effort in them, and then they, they'd start dying out. These, these mites just, they carry the viruses and such, and, and the bees just start dying. And you try to make them up and increase your numbers again, and you get kicked again. But it is not just beekeepers who are suffering. A Cornell University study has found that $14 billion worth of seeds and crops in the United States are pollinated by bees. Carl Grooms owns fancy farms in Plant City, Florida, where he grows a variety of fruits and vegetables. If I wasn't able to lease hives of bees to put next to my, my, my squash crops, I wouldn't plant them because there's not enough natural uh, uh, bees to, uh, to pollinate them. Uh, uh, cantaloupes is, is raised quite extensively here. That and watermelon. You've got to have bees for those. And, and obviously, if, if you're a, a big grower of those items, you, you would decide real quick if there was no bees to rent, you would not plant them. And, and we're facing that. Congress recently held a hearing on colony collapse disorder, and lawmakers agreed to push for more government funding for research. Penn State experts told a hearing that a move last year to allow imported Australian bees to serve as California's almond crop may have introduced a new bee disease to the United States. David Hackenberg attended the Washington hearing. He says millions of dollars is needed to fund research. But in Florida, local lawmakers have given only around $300,000 over the last two years. And Hackenberg says by the time enough money arrives, it may be too late to stop hundreds of beekeepers from closing the lid on their operations. Steve Mort for VOA News, Tampa, Florida.